Do you know what abstinence-based sex education is? No. 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 No, sir. Yeah, kind of. Wait, yeah. It's like where you're only with one person, right? It's like sex until marriage. Yeah, yeah. So you're only with one person. It is when you have sex before you're married. Or don't have sex. Wait, which one is it? <laughs> Wait, restart, restart. The real Wait. definition is um, saving sex until marriage. So, wait, so in the question, they are or aren't having? Um, teaching teens to avoid sex is the healthiest se sexual decision. Blah, blah, blah. Saving sex until marriage. You know, do you know what it means? Yeah, I got you. Uh, don't have sex until you're married, basically. Okay. Do you believe abstinence-based sex education works? Yes or no, why? No, because like, no one wants to wait that long. It's peer pressure. No, because people are in relationships and they don't want to wait. Usually they fall in love early in their relationship and they go ahead and have sex before they're married. No. Why? Kids. Kids are always turned on, I guess. I don't know. Um, sure. You want me to be honest or like do you want me to lie? Whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Yeah, be honest. Alright. Um so we're talking about like them teaching to have sex after marriage in school. Anywhere. Um uh, it could work. I think that if they were gonna do that they would have to influence them at a younger age, probably in middle school. For anything, because kids are probably losing their virginity from sixth grade and up. So, um, don't want to do it too late after kids have already lost their virginity. No, because there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it works because maybe religion wise and it's like. How do you feel about when you should have sex? Um, how did you learn about sex? Um, I think it was in sixth grade. They did like a video for our class. Um, my friends and people telling me like things and stuff. My mom, I guess, in school. Um, probably kids at school and then like teachers are forced to tell you. I had it. <laughs> I learned about sex in Grand Theft Auto. Um, I, me and my friends, we get together every weekend. We go and we go normally under the bridges, there's hookers and stuff. We just get them in the car and then we all have a good time together. Okay. Um, how common is it for people you know to be sex sexually active? Very, like a lot. Mm. Most people I know are sexually active. Well, the people that I do know that are sexually active are like in their teens to their like f late 40s. It's very common nowadays. Pretty common. Pretty common. Uh, not that common, because, I mean, 8th graders don't really do it. Well, I don't know anyone who's not sexually active. How informed do you think your parents are about teenagers and sex today? Before you're Danielle and Daniel. <laughs> Probably not that informed. Well, not, like, teens hide everything from their parents, so not much. Mom doesn't care. Is she informed though? Like that teenagers? About teenagers and sex? Yeah. She knows. She's not stupid. Well, they've been through it, so I guess, like, right now, like, So are they. Like, so are they informed or not? I guess so. I don't know. Well, I have an older brother, so my mom has gone through it, my dad has gone through it with my older brother, so they're well aware of what's going on. So they told me, you know, in sixth grade, mainly about it, so that I'd be scared and I wouldn't have sex when 
If you could tell your parents one thing you'd like them to know about teen sexuality, what would it be? Um, um, teen sexuality. Um. That's a weird question. I'm just say it, Debbie. I don't know. Like, what would I tell them? Yeah, if you tell them one thing, what would it be? Um. Um. What's there to answer for that question? Don't worry about it. <laughs> um. That we should always be. Prepared and <laughs> make sure that we're protected because we do not want to have diseases. If you could tell your parents one thing you'd like them to know about se teen sexuality, what would it be? The half of teenagers nowadays having sex young ages. What's that? Um, probably it's like okay to do it in high school as long as like no one's getting pregnant and it's not like you're a freshman or something like that <laughs> i don't know uh it's not valued anymore like sex is not valued anymore i guess